So we're going to look at incorporating Slido into a presentation here with just a couple of their options um, for online delivery just to make it a little bit more engaging and interactive for the delegates. So the very first one I'm going to do here is after we pretty much the first activity for them is in between these two. So before this one, I actually want them to create a word cloud. Um, just to do a bit of a refresh, because this is level two from what they did from level one, what they remember, what safeguarding means to them. So I'm just gonna click add live poll, word cloud, type in I'm going to let them put in as many answers as they want and then click save. And that's created the interaction for us. Just want to move it above in between there we go. And then obviously I can choose, so I want them to see the words that they're entering and their fellow delegates are entering straight away because that seems to give sometimes a bit of a trigger and as people have seen other words they can then relate um, it to other issues and etc like that so then you know jogs they get those light bulb moments and they start adding some more thoughts that link to the ones that they've seen so that's all good there I can test what the preview is That will come up, brilliant, and there's all the code and everything there. So that's our first interaction with Slido added. So if I keep Slido going down, now we do have this activity, and so I could then add it as a poll for each statement so that they can agree or disagree. So it would be like this, um, multiple choice put in the statement there and then just agree or disagree. However, I won't use that for this. Um, it does help sometimes with those, if a little bit of um, Zoom fatigue, if there's a little bit of um, delay in me speaking and them hearing, etc. But I want to keep this activity as it is so that we've got some movement to get them to stand up and sit down, etc. Um, based on their values and attitudes of what they think of the statement. So we still have that movement element within this presentation and online. So we'll keep going. So for this one, they're actually put into four groups for um, the activity. And two of those groups, one looks into the blocks and the other looks into barriers of why people don't disclose. So what I'm going to do is create a word crowd. Oops. And then what I'm gonna do for the activity is still put them in their four groups. The two groups that are doing this, I'm going to do that they don't see the answers until they come back to feed back and that we can have some of that delegate led interaction. But the two groups can then have the code to this, they can have their discussions and as long as one person within the breakout room can access Slido on their phone, which they should be able to do because we've gone through obviously all the instructions previously and then um, they can then enter in so group one that's doing the blocks can then enter in all their thoughts around the blocks group two that's doing the barriers can do the same for barriers and then when they come back I can then show the word cloud uh, which hopefully should be quite big of actually what they have both created and then group one can talk about and lead their interactions 
and then group two can do the same for their words on their word cloud as well. So again, it's a bit like flip chart paper, they can't see each other's, but then they can have that whole group interaction as well. So that would be quite good there. So I think the last Slido interaction I'm going to put into this is near the end as we have a quiz. Um, normally we put them in groups or sometimes we'll read out the question. Whoever raises their hand first gets to answer but obviously on Zoom sometimes that can be a bit difficult because of delays, um, speaking over each other etc. So what I'm going to do for this one is that I'm going to put them into groups and breakout rooms make sure that they nominate someone to actually access the Slido quiz once they're in their breakout rooms on their phone with the code which they previously used. I'm going to set the quiz so that there is 30 seconds per question and they will then have time to discuss and then answer the question and then the group with the most points wins. So I'm just going to set up that quiz now by clicking here. I'm going to enter in my questions and then as you can see there I can put in a timer so I can make that 30 seconds and can show you a leaderboard as well to add in a bit of that competitive action as well there and then obviously at the end we can go through have those discussions per question I can go through and make sure we can have any of that clarification and then obviously round of applause celebrate who has won at the end